Hi Aries, today we're going to do an energy check-in to see if we can get some information for you. We're just going to do a quick past, present, future to see um, what's going on and what's to come. So it looks like in your recent past you could have been spying on someone who had been holding back from you um, and trying to figure out what it is that this person's been doing with their time. It looks like in your current um, position you are able to see the connection for what it is. You see this very clearly. You're using discernment and head over heart. Intellect. It also looks like Whatever this is, this could have to do with a marriage. And at this time you're holding you're holding back your energy. In the future, it looks like you could be getting a divorce. And there could be something in here around children that's going to require a lot of strength to move forward. The signs, I'm seeing a lot of air, so there could be a lot of arguing that's going on at this time. Um, or somebody is trying to argue with you. This, this could actually just be somebody who's trying to get a reaction out of you. Um, let's see. So whatever information you learned in the past, it brought you to a place of feeling like you were taken for granted. I'm feeling like this person owes you an apology for something that you caught them in. You could have figured out that they have been seeing someone, someone else. And now it looks like what's going on is you, you're looking at the connection in a very guarded way. This isn't someone that you want to continue to deal with because you feel like they've been toxic and controlling. This is someone who during the course of your relationship they've tried to hold on to your energy and keep you from interacting with other people or um, maybe keep you from spending money. Maybe they were it just looks like whoever this is, this person is controlling, but in the background, they were messing around with somebody else. You could be the mother of their children. Oops. It looks like in the future, It looks like there's kids involved here, and in the future, what's going to happen is you're going to have to co-parent with this person. It looks like whoever I'm reading for, you are headed for a divorce or a separation. And this is going to require a lot of strength. But what this is meant to do also is put you on a healing journey. Um, you could be somebody who ends up in the public eye. You could also be someone who... The person that you're dealing with could be either an Aries, um, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Capricorn. We actually have almost all of the signs here, so, um, but those are the, the major arcana that came out. The other one is Taurus, but it looks like you've caught somebody cheating, and at this time you are holding back from this person and trying to decide your next move. It looks like you are protected, whoever it is that I'm speaking to. And there's going to be a lot of work that you have to put in to get through this separation with this person.
whoever this is, they, they may try to cause you unexpected difficulty to do with your kids. They may work actually very hard to try to cause problems with you and your kids with whether it's the court system or trying to take them away from you or sending people to your home or they're doing something around your home with your kids. Um, and it looks like they may be somebody who's financially well off and that could be the means that they're using in order to do that. Um, but in the future, it looks like what's meant to be here is that you're supposed to end up in your power and healing and there's good fortune here. So this is going to be hard to go through and you're going to do, you're going to need to, to prepare a lot for dealing with, with this person, but the outcome is good. Um, unfortunately with tarot, it doesn't tell you exactly how far into the future these things are going to be, but it, it does look like you are protected and the, the path that you're on is meant to bring you into alignment with who you are. So let me see if I can get some advice. Stay balanced and stand in your truth. Continue to be loving and move on. Yeah, it looks like in the future you, I mean, it looks like you have everything that you need in order to be able to move away from this. And you could have new love coming in. Um, somebody could be coming in during this time to help you, whether this is um, like a support system of some kind or an attorney or just a new love interest, like somebody who's going to be here to support you um, during this difficult time. But don't lose hope and stay balanced. Don't let this person knock you off your square. Don't let this person try to make you seem like something that you're not remember who you are while you're going um, down this road because you are meant to move away from this person whoever this is and seek out people who have who are going through something similar um, seek out support groups seek out a sisterhood seek out seek out some someone in your community look for whether this is therapy or a support system or people that you know that have gone through a similar journey um i'm also getting something here with uh the emperor the king of coins and the king of swords you could be dealing with somebody who's very narcissistic this could be somebody who does crazy things to you like calls cps and make false reports or makes false police reports and send them sends them to your house to try to to scare you or um try to manipulate the court system in their favor so that they can take the kids away from you you need to be strong and find a support group and find therapy and a good attorney immediately and take all of the steps that you need to to protect you and your children um but this is something that was meant to put you in alignment with who you are and you're going to be okay. It's just going to be a hard journey ahead. Um, Whoever this is that you're dealing with, it looks like they, on top of being somebody who is narcissistic, they could use um, words to manipulate a story to change the view of who you actually are. Um, 
whatever that means to you, whether this person is talking to family or friends or just a mutual party of yours to defame your character, this is this is something that this person could be doing. So um, there's lots of books on Audible and in different places that you can look into about people who have NPD or ASPD or, you know, whenever you're going through a difficult court case with somebody. Um, so just from my own personal experience, it would be very good for you to look into things like that. Um, and I'm sorry if this is something that you're going through, but you are protected and this was meant to put you in alignment. Um, and you're going to be okay. So you've got a rough road ahead of you, but this was something that was also meant for you. So good luck.